welcome back everyone. Hopefully everyone had a good Christmas and a new year. I've been very busy with the kids. Uh, we went down south to see the parents and haven't had a chance to do any of the projects. Um, today we've got a lot of wind but um, gives me an opportunity to uh, get this motor motor painted. So for today's episode I'm just gonna put the, um, the sander the audible sander lightly over the over the cowling first um, I'm just gonna give that a just a light sand and then I'm gonna give it a test test with the the final coat of the paint because uh, that primer is quite thick I don't even think I need to prime it anymore um, so I'm gonna do that now and you guys can have a look change stay tuned So what I've done is, I just uh, put a 180 grit with the triangle sander, just to make it a bit easier for me. Because I've got to hand sand this, I can't actually use an audible sander because it's too aggressive. Um, triangular sander is probably the best because it just vibrates instead of it spins, like an audible. Uh, so I'll, I'll hand sand now the rest with a 180. Uh, once that's all nice and smooth, then I'll put a coat of um, uh, sand of one, uh, 400, a light 400 grit. When that's done, then I'll get the wax and grease remover, wipe the wax and grease remover pretty much all over it, uh, just so there's no dust particles or any grime. Once that's done, then it is a bit windy at the moment, but I'll just do a test coat with the top coat. Uh, for painting, uh, you can make, make sure your prep is 100% first. Your prep is probably what's going to give you your, your actual finish. Um, if it's a rough surface, you're going to get a rough, a rough finish. If it's a perfect, flat um, surface with no issues, no dents, um, pretty much very fine, you're going to get the best finish. So make sure you put some time and effort into this. Uh, you don't want to do it again. So the first coat, second coat, third coat, make sure it's all done correctly, don't skip it. Kind of looks like we're back at um, stage one again, but we're not. That uh, primer has helped with all the low spots, high spots. Sorry, low spots. Um, pretty much, that's a 240 grit now. That there is ready for a top coat. Uh, we need to do the wax and grease remover first, but uh, I will show you the difference because I've left the spot where it hasn't been done properly to what it should look like and that will be uh, critical if you want your top coat to look 100%. So here you can see that it's so smooth even when you run your fingers over. That's how it should look. But then if it's not been done right, it looks like this. Now that there will show up once you put your, your top coat on. So I'm going to sand that now and I'm going to go through the whole cowling and make sure there's none of that. 
So that will sh that that will just show up pretty much instantly if you're gonna put a top coat on that. Well, right, I'm just gonna keep hand sanding more. So I've got some water, um, and just as well, just give you a tip. When you do sand this, make sure you just do it with a piece of sandpaper, not a rock. Because any corners and stuff, so easy to form with your hand, and then you'll get a nice finish. You can probably block it here, uh, but it's best just to do it with your hand, and just go around. No, we can't turn back now. gonna let that dry air dry just quickly uh, it's not actually really that wet but that just took most of the dust off I'm just gonna get the wax and grease remover with a nice microfiber uh, towel I uh, just put it over there just put it down there yeah I'll put it in the bin and then um, I'll just wipe it over wax and grease remover Painting it. Um, make sure you do that cleaning, and you can paint it with a spray can. Give it a good shake. I've already done this for a couple of minutes, and then always give a good 30 centimeters away, and um, do a spray test on something so you can get the color out. Sometimes it goes clear, and then the color will come out. Everything that brought me alive Oh, we're all like monsters Playing with the monsters They brought me alive But got no outlet To quickly um, shut the garage just so no dust can get in and let it sit for a bit and I'll show you the outcome it's already dry we'll look at the shine on that that's not even with a clear coat I touched it here and I had a bit of dust so that will come off same at the top there touch the top Still not finished yet. What I need to do, I need to do a 400 and a 600 wet sand over this because you can feel it's a bit, little bit bumpy. It's not bumpy, but like it's, it's got like little. I don't know if you can see it. 
it's like a little nip. It's just part of like the paint when it comes out. So I'm gonna give that just another 400 and 600 sand, which should take like five minutes. And then same thing, wax and grease remover. Do the wax and grease remover. Just do one more good coat. Then I'll let it dry. And then I'll put two coats of clear. So pretty much, pretty much, yeah, the next step for this will take probably a good hour, hour and a half. Um, all the other stuff will be quite easy, like the side fairing bits, they're quite small. The leggies should be pretty easy too. But that just goes to show how easy you can make something look brand new again. So there you have it. I have successfully put top coat on my Terran Horsepower Johnson Outboard motor. The cowling is nearly complete. Next episode, I will sand all the other little bits. Same application, get a top coat on it. Once I've done that, then I'll top coat the cowling and then the others. When that's done, then I can do my clear coats on all of it. So my last painting, I'll do it all at once, so it can sit overnight with no wind, no dust around, and um, yeah, get the stickers on them. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification button, comment, and have a great new year, guys. See ya.